Hey folks, welcome back to Bob's Bottom Shelf, where we make affordable cocktails using affordable ingredients. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy gin cocktail, the gin sling. Alright, so the gin sling, it actually uses six different ingredients, but don't let that fool you. It's still a quick and easy cocktail to make. You could easily get all these ingredients and they're pretty affordable. Now I've come across quite a few different recipes for the gin sling, but this one I like the best. It uses uh, sweet vermouth, gin, simple syrup, lemon juice, uh, some bitters, and club soda. Alright, so our gin today is Sir Robert Burnett's London Dry Gin. You can find this for about 8 or $9. It's rather inexpensive, and despite its low cost, it still retains the strong juniper berry flavor that you would expect from a London Dry Gin. And it doesn't have that overpowering acetone flavor or anything like that. And our gin sling recipe calls for one and a half ounces of our gin. Our next ingredient is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Next, we're going to need three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. This is homemade simple syrup. That's way more affordable than a store-bought simple syrup. And our vermouth today is Gallo Sweet Vermouth. You can find this easily at a grocery store for about six or seven dollars. It's rather inexpensive and it has a pretty good flavor, I would say. And we're gonna need half an ounce of this. All right, so the last ingredient is about three dashes of bitters. You could pretty much use whatever bitters you have. Today I'm using orange Angostura bitters and I'm going to use Fee Brothers grapefruit bitters. And last, we're going to add some ice and just shake it for a few seconds until it's well chilled. And then we're going to strain it into our highball glass. Some more ice to it and the last thing you want to do is then the last thing you want to do is take your club soda and just top off the glass Give it a quick stir. All right, folks, gin sling. Cheers. This is as good as I remember it being the very first time I made it. The gin and the vermouth, they actually don't have a very forward or noticeable flavor. In fact, I think they're blending very well with the orange and the grapefruit bitters. The lemon is it's noticeable as sour notes and a club soda of course gives it the nice fizziness and it's a very light and refreshing drink if that is your preference. And being that there are so many different recipes of this gin sling chances are you may have tried one that's different than this. If you have uh, let me know in the comments um, what did you think of yours and if you have a chance 
use this recipe and let me know what you think of this one. Well, folks, that's going to about do it for today's episode. If you like what we're doing here, making affordable cocktails using affordable ingredients, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and just tune in for more episodes of Bob's Bottom Shelf. See you around.